reflection of a point in a point part 2 Let's take the next example. Let T six comma minus three be the middle point of the line segment AB, where A has the coordinates minus two comma zero. Find the coordinates of B. Let's solve this. Let the coordinates of B be alpha comma beta. The middle point of P of AB has the coordinates minus two plus alpha divided by two. Comma zero plus beta divided by two, but P has the coordinates six comma minus three. Therefore, minus two plus alpha divided by two is equal to six, and zero plus beta divided by two is equal to minus three. This implies minus two plus alpha is equal to twelve, and beta is equal to minus six. This implies alpha is equal to 14 and beta is equal to minus 6. So coordinates of B are 14 comma minus 6. Let's take the next example. Two vertices of a triangle are 1 comma 4 and 3 comma 1. If the centroid of the triangle is the origin. Find the third vertex. Let's solve this. Let the third vertex be alpha comma beta. Then the centroid of the triangle is one plus three plus alpha divided by three comma four plus one plus beta divided by three. But the centroid is zero comma zero. Therefore. One plus three plus alpha divided by three is equal to zero. Four plus one plus beta divided by three is equal to zero. This implies alpha is equal to minus four and beta is equal to minus five. So the third vertex is equal to minus four comma minus five. Let's take the next example. Find the point A dash if the point A minus three comma four on reflection in the point one comma minus one maps onto the point A dash. Let's solve this. Let A dash is equal to x comma y. Clearly, one comma minus one is the midpoint of A A dash. The midpoint of A A dash is equal to x plus minus three by two, comma y plus four by two, is equal to one comma minus one. This implies x minus three by two is equal to one, and y plus four by two is equal to minus one. This implies x is equal to five and y is equal to minus six. So a dash is equal to five comma minus six.